Okay, so over the next couple weeks, oh, over next week, I'm going to show you guys three pieces of cleanup equipment. Uh, we've got the gold cube here. We have a Miller table or a cleanup sluice, depending on what mat goes in the bottom, right here. And we have the blue bowl down there. I'm going to show you those three things. We're going to play with them a bit. We're going to feed some material through. I'll talk a bit more about setup at a later time. I want to talk today a little bit about a technique we use whenever we're using this kind of equipment uh, about putting a bin inside a bin or like this the blue bowl here we have a bucket inside a bucket here on the Miller table we have a bin inside a bin inside a bin three three layers of it here when you're using a recirculating piece of equipment so it's got a pump that recirculates water through it you have to keep the sand and silt from getting sucked up into the pump because it will wreck the pump for one and pump it back through your piece of equipment because you don't want the stuff that's already gone through going through again. So for all of these pieces of equipment here, we have them all set up that we have a first catchment bin that catches all the sand and silt that goes through. The water fills up in here, spills over the edge into another bin and any sand that spills over with that water in this case will get caught in the second bin then the water fills up and spills over into the outer bin where the pump can catch it and pump it back through doing this most of the sand and silt gets caught in the first or in this case in the two bins Where's my glasses? Uh, and not very much of it gets out into the outer bin so that the water pump can actually take fairly clean water and pump back through. This here, the gold cube, same thing. It's got a water pump on the end of this hose in the big bin. The smaller bin inside is going to catch all of the tailings, all of that discharged sand is going to catch it. The water will then separate out the sand and the water will come to the surface, flow over, and in this case, I even have the inner bin sloped a bit, so the water will spill off the back side, off the back side of the bin, and then flow over to the pump where it gets picked up. So any silt or sand that might get out of the first bin should settle out on this side and be fairly clean by the time the water gets picked up on this other side and then gets cycled back through. Here on the blue bowl, we have a bucket underneath, all the stuff falls out the center here, all the sand goes down into this bucket, settles down into the bottom, the water builds up, flows over the top edge into the bigger bin where we have the water pump picking up. Now with the blue bowl it's not nearly as much water moving or as violent of water moving so the sand all settles out, there's almost nothing ever gets out into the bigger one. With some of these other pieces of equipment, you have a lot more water flowing through it, so it actually takes a little bit of the silt with it. And that's why on this one I have to go three layers, because I was finding there was a lot getting out of the first bin, so I put a second bin to catch as much as possible. Okay, we're going to show you later how each of these pieces of equipment work, and we're going to let you guys start feeding things through. I'm going to start filling them up with water today and let a few of you guys play a little bit today, but I'll show all of you as a whole on Monday's class, Tuesday's class, how these things work. Okay, get back to it.